I sure do love Linda Ronstadt, and you know who else loves her? Lauren. And many, many, many other people, as they should. Yes. Because she rules. She rules. And all that. Uh, we do a series on the channel called Hidden Gems, which is like, hey, these are uh, maybe songs you haven't heard before from this artist. But uh, we also do another series called Five Songs to Start With, which is uh, interesting for both fans of the band, I think, uh, of the artist, rather, uh, and people who are looking to get into someone. Because yeah. if you're a longtime fan, you're like, I would, that's not the five I would have picked uh -huh. or, or whatever. Uh, but... If you're like me, until, geez, I don't know, 10 years ago or so, I always knew of Linda Ronstadt, but never like knew a ton about her. Yeah. Uh, so I could have used a video <laughs> like this. So uh, having said that, Lauren's got five songs that she's going to tell you, you know, if you said, hey, I don't know much about Linda Ronstadt, where should I start? These are the ones. Yeah. So this, this kind of got spurred on for me because uh, this first song I'm going to talk about popped up on Shuffle, and I was like, oh, man, I need to talk about Linda Ronstadt. Mm -hmm. And so Different Drum by uh, Stone Ponies, which was a band she, band she was in before she kind of went solo. This song is just, it's so... Um, it's so self-aware. It's a woman being like, you know what? I don't need to be in this relationship. Let's, you know. But it's... Um, it's a powerful song in its simplicity, and I just think sure. it's a great way for her to kind of start her career, and her voice on it is just... And it's funny that you say that about, like, band, because, I mean, she would be... Part of what she's known for is having kicked off the Eagles, yep. because her band was the Eagles. <laughs> Eagles. You know? uh, now, the next one is this, like, if you woke me up in the middle of the night and said, uh, there's an emergency, I have to play one Linda Ronstadt song for someone... Uh, I would say, please make it this one. Yeah, Blue Bayou. And I mean, come on. It is one of the most beautiful vocals that, that kind of has ever happened. And it's it's just a, it's a nice song that puts you in a, in a relaxing sort of mood. And it's so incredibly pretty. And I personally, I love her performance of this on The Muppet Show. <laughs> yeah. For me, the first time I ever heard it, and this is going to sound so dumb, but it was in the Denzel Washington movie, uh, Man on Fire. Okay. It plays a big part mm -hmm. in that movie. And that was that's why I say about 10 years ago or so, because I know the movie's way older than that. But about 10 years ago or so, I saw that movie on cable, and I was like, I know this song, and I know this artist. Why don't I know more? And then when I was mm -hmm. like, oh, of course. That's, yep. I haven't looked into her. So uh, now the next one is if you said, wait, the first one didn't work. We still have an emergency. What's the second song you would play for someone? Hey, we need to save her life with a Linda Ronstadt song. This is the second song I would play. Sure. I love that. It's a, When Will I Be Loved. And so good. So good. And that harmony that happens throughout the whole the whole song. And, you know, I think this is probably the first, like, really upbeat Linda Ronstadt song I have on the list so far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And one of the things about this song, too is um there's a lot of opinions going on today about how how and why things can be said about certain causes and i don't think that everything has to be combative i think you can just make a statement for yourself mm -hmm. and i think a lot of people could learn something from this song and this artist really and they're like this song i think is uh, a good way to say hey you can say something without being combative yes right it's very true uh the next one and the one after are two that i'm not familiar with and so i love like again this is what i said about the series of the video like i may maybe wouldn't have picked these but i, I it's super interested in hearing your reasons why they're on here sure so the next one i have on the list is i will always love you now yes we know Dolly Parton wrote it. We know yeah, that so, someone covered it, but I forget. Oh yeah. yes, Whitney. And we know that Whitney Houston kind of made the song explode. I have the Linda Ronstadt version of "I Will Always Love You" on this list because Whitney's version is so incredibly informed and inspired by Linda Ronstadt's version, mm -hmm. far more so than Dolly's. So yeah. if you listen to Linda, you go. That's where Whitney got that. Right, That's right. where she. That, oh, I see. I get mm -hmm. it. So, I, if if Linda Ronstadt hadn't covered this song, we, 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 we do not have Whitney's version. Yeah, or at least the way Whitney ended right. up doing it. Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then the last one is one I'm not even that familiar with. So what's fun for me is I like to hear what you're going to say about this, and then I'm going to go listen to it. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this is fun. I had to put this on there because it's just so different than everything else in the list. It's the early 80s. Linda Ronstadt's like, okay, what do I do? Oh, you know what? I'm going to do some Pet Benatar things because mm -hmm. I have the voice for it. And this song, How Do I Make You, is essentially Linda Ronstadt doing Pet Benatar things mm -hmm. and killing it. And being great. Yeah. So good. 
good. That's awesome. So if you're a Linda Ronstant fan, and you should be, mm -hmm. uh, these are the first five songs Lauren would say, hey, go take a listen to these. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. You know, if you again, it, like for me, there's at least two on here that maybe I wouldn't have picked. But now that I hear Lauren's reasons, I'm like, oh, yeah, I, t I totally get why you would have played that first for somebody. Or if you have other ones that you think uh, you would play first for someone. Remember, this is not a Hidden Gems video. We'll get there. We'll do one on her. So uh, we're not looking for the deep cuts, but just the first five songs you would tell someone to listen to. Uh, if you like the content on the channel, one thing that would help us out a great deal is if you share the videos on your socials so your uh, friends and family, the people that you like the most, see the people that you like <laughs> the most. Uh, if you would drop a like on the video, that helps us grow as well. And then make sure to leave a comment because that matters more to us personally than anything mm -hmm. is, is interacting with everybody in the comments. As we always say, thank you so much for watching.